Hey everybody, with the new edition of ChatGPT Search, a lot of people have been wondering how do you make sure that your website is indexed for ChatGPT Search? Well, OpenAI has actually shown us exactly how to do this, so I'm gonna walk you through those steps. So let's go. So OpenAI has actually released some documentation on this, and the thing that they're recommending to do is to update your robots.txt file. And they have three different bots that can crawl your site, but the main one that you would want to enable for the new ChatGPT search functionality would be this OAI search bot. And you can see here in the documentation that they actually give you the full user agent string to be able to add to your robots.txt file. Now these other ones you could potentially add, but they're not necessarily used for search. Um, if you are okay with your data being used in their training models, um, I don't even know if that really matters, right? They've, they've seemed to just kind of taken everything and swallow up everything and use it in their training models, but they claim that you can actually disallow them from using your content. So if you have content that you do not want OpenAI to be able to use in their training models, you could also use these other bots and change it to the disallow function inside of your robots.txt file. Now, if you don't even know what a robots.txt file is, Google actually has some really good documentation on how to create one, the rules that you can create, very, very simple file. Any text editor can make this um, on a PC. You can use Notepad, you can use Google Docs if you wanted to create this file, um, but this just has to live at the root of your directory. So if you're like me and you're using WordPress, you're most likely using an SEO plugin. I'm using Yoast and Yoast does have the ability to allow you to edit the robots.txt file. So I'm gonna show you how to use Yoast to be able to change a robots.txt file to make sure that you have the OpenAI bot enabled inside of that file. So inside of WordPress, you're gonna go down to your backend menu and you're gonna to go to Yoast and you're gonna click on Tools. And inside of Tools, you're gonna to see a file editor option. So you're gonna go ahead and click on the file editor. So you're gonna have two options here. You're either going to have an existing robots.txt file that you can edit, or there's gonna be a button down here that says to create a robots.txt file. So I've already done that. And here's my robots.txt file. So if we go back over to the documentation from OpenAI, the full user agent string would be this. So you would want to copy this. So inside of your robots.txt file where it says user agent, you would paste that entire string, which I have pasted right here. And then I have given the rule to allow it to crawl my entire website. I have another rule for a user agent, which means I'm allowing all other bots to be able to crawl my website with the, with the allow tool at the root directory. Now with your robots.txt file, you do have other rules that you can use to be able to keep bots on or off of certain parts of your site. But for this example, I'm just showing you how to enable the robots.txt file to allow OpenAI's search bot to be able to look at your site. Now, once you have made these changes, you would simply just save changes to the robot.txt file. Now back to the documentation from OpenAI, it says, please note that it can take 24 hours from a site's robots.txt file update for our systems to adjust. Now this process is probably gonna change. Search GPT is really, really new. It just barely released. So I'm sure the documentation will update and who knows if really adding this makes any sort of difference, but you might as well do what they tell you to do if you're interested in having your content potentially show up in their Search GPT. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, make sure that you hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we put out more helpful content like this. And if you're new to Search GPT, make sure that you watch this video where I explain in detail how to use Search GPT and how to be able to use OpenAI to find really awesome statistics with sources. Thank you so much for joining me today, and we'll see you on the next video.